All right, everyone, we're here at this super special home. This is Boxwood Cottage here in Mentone, Alabama. So here's a couple specs about the house. We've got 4,919 square feet. We've got five bedrooms and four total baths. The house sits on just under three acres with a brow view, which is one of the most beautiful views that you can get in Alabama. So as we walk up to this house, we're greeted by this amazing entryway. Right here with these stone steps and the stone walkway. If you look closely at this stone, this is called Ashler Cut Stone. The masonry work on this house is absolutely phenomenal. They did a fantastic job with this. A lot of homes in Mentone don't have a lot like this. We have a huge front yard that is used in most of the houses here in Mentone that are on the brow. Most of their land goes down the hill. This lot, you only have about 20 to 30 feet down the mountain, but you've got almost three acres of usable property that is spectacular. So as we make our way into the into the house, we're greeted by a super wide foyer, and then that opens right into this huge family room with this super grand fireplace right in the middle of it. So I want to take a second to highlight this massive fireplace here in the great room. If you notice, the stone is the exact same cut as the exterior of the house, which you're going to find throughout the home. Um, and you also see this beautiful natural wood mantle that stretches almost the length of the fireplace. You also have double um, wood stack boxes on each side of the fireplace. This fireplace is a wood burning fireplace, but it has a gas starter. So just to help you along in that process of getting your fire going in the winter. So right around the corner of the fireplace, we actually have the dining room. So the fireplace is actually used as a room divider. This room was so large that they needed a dividing piece. And so the fireplace acts as that, and then you have this grand dining hall. So from the dining hall, we can go right out these side glass doors into a screen porch that has one of the most spectacular views in all of Alabama. screened in porch that's right off the dining hall also is equipped with its own wood burning fireplace same ashlar cut stone that is just <laughs> so beautiful and um, really creates this coziness in this screened in porch where you want to hang out during the fall on those football weekends so we make our way into the kitchen which is right off the great room so this kitchen is packed with fantastic things look at this fridge freezer combo I think this is probably the biggest fridge freezer combo I've ever seen in my life. Um, that goes right over into the commercial grade range that we have here. And then you have your farmhouse sinks. And then on top of your cabinets, you have this beautiful black granite, which is a leathered stone. It has this leather texture to it. Um, it really brings out a lot in this kitchen, which is probably a space we would stay a lot of the time. We're going to wave right off the kitchen into the butler's pantry, which is also equipped with another dishwasher and another farmhouse sink. And of course, all of your storage components, which is all hidden storage and open shelving here for all of your food, spices, and all, all sorts of things. So through these double doors on the south end of the house, we have the master bedroom. So right here we have our her closet with a bunch of built-ins and plenty of storage and light. And from there we make our way right into the actual bedroom um, where you have massive windows over here on the far side of the room so that you can see that beautiful view of Alabama. So we make our way into the in-suite bathroom here. We have a linen closet here, which is ample amount of storage for this bathroom. We have a um, his and her vanity here with each side 
with cabinets in the middle and on the bottom. If you make our way in on into the bathroom, we have our soaking tub here that has a heated back. And then we have a walk-in tile shower here, which sits right next to a huge makeup panel. So next we're going to head up the stairs. We're going to start on the south end in a place called The Walt. So here we are at The Walt. As you can see, this spot was built specifically for kids to come up here and hang out. It also has a great view of the dining area and the family room. So right off the loft, we have a walk-in attic, which is ample amount of space for any family that lives here. As we make our way into the north side of the house, we come across a small hallway where we have another uh, linen closet and a half bath. Um, also want to take you a look at these walls. This is, um, wood paneling that has been painted to lighten up the space and they were really thinking ahead of when they built it and um, it really really helps with the whole house each room on this side has its own name so this room's name is called the tuscaloosa room and this room in itself has probably the best view of the whole entire house we have again more storage here that runs the length of the hallway this was extra attic space that they did not want to waste they call this the harry potter closet <laughs> because there's enough space for a bed in there make our way down the hall we find a full bath here which is um, a double sink vanity um, and this handles all of the bedrooms up here another bedroom for your guests this room is called the twin room We have more storage here and here as we make our way into the last room can you guess its name the final room of the upstairs the cousin's room you can see that two full-size queen beds will fit in here and an extra twin so there's more than enough space for your guests to stay so we make our way here into the what i like to call the man cave this is the woodworking shop um, this is also connected with a bay door a roll-up bay door here to the two-car garage um, this is a Construction man's dream to have this area to be able to work on anything you want to. To the garage, what's special about this garage is that it's extra wide, so you really feel like you have a lot of space in here. Also, the garage doors are on rubber bands, so they're super quiet when you get to open them. So we do have a basement here, an unfinished basement. Um, right at the bottom of the stairs, you have a storm shelter. You have two crawl spaces on each end, north and south. Um, both of them encapsulated and very easy and plenty of space to get to um, the pipes and electrical items to be able to work on them. This beautiful house is listed at $1.55 million. And I want to give a special thanks to Becky Woodard for letting us come over here and check the place out and give a tour for y'all. If you're interested in it, click the link below and get in touch with me so that I can show you next.